Let's build a simple automation workflow. There are a few things that you'll need to have set up. In this workflow, we're just going to start with a contact form, sending an email, and getting a meeting set up. So for those things, we want to make sure we have each of those pieces set up. So to begin with, um, we'll build your contact form. That's here in Workspace Settings and then Form Builder. So you'll click the plus button to add a new form. I'll show you one that I have created already. Most importantly, when you create a form is that you're going to map each of these to the right location. So here's your box for first name that lives here in Moxie. So I'm going to use this drop down box to uh, add it to the first name box. So now when someone fills out this form, Moxie is going to know, oh, that's their first name. And you'll be able to use that in your email templates. You'll be able to use it in your client records. You just want to map it so that your client basically does all of the work for you in entering their information. Same here for email. So here I've got that map to email. You can also do this with a custom field. So you just will, instead of using this uh, drop down. This one is going to be uh, mapped and I've named this start date. You're going to use that without your without any spaces. So you use this mapping key to say this information I want to save under the start date map. You can set all of that up with custom fields. This again is Ideally, a very simple video, so we won't get into all of that. Um, we do have a great help section um, and lots more videos about how you can do that um, in our uh, help section. It is up here in the question mark when we head back into Moxie. So we'll finish up the form here. So. Now that I've got my form created and mapped, I want to make sure in my settings, I'm going to drop this submission into my pipeline. So these are all fully customizable. We'll give you a few uh, that are there by default, but you can change the name and the color and add as many stages as you want. So I'm going to drop this into inquiry because again, we're doing a contact form, sending an email, setting up a schedule. So I've got my form set up now. Now I want to set up that meeting scheduler. So here in work, workspace settings. I've got my meeting schedulers. I'm going to click the plus button to add in a new meeting scheduler. Um, This is where you're going to go in and set up your availability. So you can uh, set up only the times that you want to use for this meeting. So let's say you only want to take new client meetings on Mondays and Tuesdays. Go ahead and get rid of the rest of these days. And you can add in here, you're going to check the availability against one of your connected calendars so you never end up double booked. That's your meeting scheduler. Now that you've got your meeting scheduler created, we're also going to go in and create an email template that's going to send that meeting scheduler. So that's under workspace settings and templates, and we're going to go to emails. Um, To create a new one, you'll go here and click on the plus button. Um, We're going to call this uh, meeting setup. Uh, this template name is not client facing, so you don't need to be, uh, you want to be clear there and not clever. The subject line is client facing. So, uh, we'll add something clever here. Like we can't wait to meet you because the real we, right? So you'll add in all your information and, um, you want to use that meeting scheduler that you just set up. So we're going to take that out of these tokens. So here, What you can do is use the form submission because you have mapped that. Moxie's going to know before it sends this email um, their name. So you could also add in here the form name or the form. You're going to add in their form first name because that's what you mapped. Um, So we'll say hi, and that is going to pull in their first name from the form. Um, let's, Let's meet. Schedule with me here. And then that is where you're going to pull in your link. So we're going to use this token for your scheduler. Uh, The one that I just created is this 30 minute meeting. So I'm going to copy this uh, link. I'll actually cut it and then I'll add it here instead so that we don't have just the name of the link. Totally fine if you want to do that too. But now I've got it kind of linked here as well. So there is all of the steps that I need before I set up my workflow automation. So now 
We're going to go contact form. We're going to send an email and schedule a meeting. So in workflow automations, you'll create a new workflow. This is our simple workflow. Our opportunity enters the stage inquiry. Remember that that's where we said from our form, oh, I'm going to drop this into my inquiry pipeline stage. So we'll drop that into your pipeline stage inquiry. That's where you're going to start. Now, whenever you get a form that comes in, you can have Moxie read that form and make a decision for you. So if you click on decision, pull this in, this is going to give you um, a condition. So this is um, your qualified, this is where you get your, you know, your marketing qualified lead. So you will drop this down and we're going to read our form answers. So let's say you don't uh, want to work with anyone who is less that who's, who's going to, pay you less than $5,000. So we're going to call, we're going to use our budget mapping and um, we'll add in 5,000 here. So again, this is something you'll need to create in your form and then um, you'll add that to that field mapping that I showed you and you'll add in your budget here. You can do this um, with text as well. Um, you can uh, do contains, you can do greater than. So let's say we um, want our budget to be greater than $5,000. Hooray. Who doesn't want that? So now that they're a qualified lead, now if they want to do that, I'm going to say, yeah, let's set up a meeting. You could also leave this step totally out. If everyone who comes in from your website, you want to set up a meeting with them, you can absolutely do that too. You would just connect the start all the way to this send email. So we're going to click on this uh, email. It's going to come from you and your connected email. We're going to send it to the form email again, because Moxie knows this came in from a form. It will know the email address to send it to. And we're going to choose that email template that we just created a meeting setup. You can see here, it's going to call them by their first name that they entered in the form. And we're going to say, let's meet. You can schedule that with me here. I'm noticing a typo because, you know, typing while someone's watching is a recipe for typos. You can always click edit here as well. So now I've got my email. So now I'm just going to connect these together. And let's say if they are, they have a budget that doesn't quite fit with me. Now I can send them an email that says, um, no, thanks. I don't think we're quite the right fit. You can, um, say that in, uh, however you'd like to say it, super kind or less kind, totally up to you and your business. So here we are. We have, I have my no things. We might not be the right fit template. And so now we're going to knock this out of here. So now we've gone from a form, uh, all the way through, uh, the form has come in from the website. We have qualified this lead and now we have set up a meeting with them. You can also use some more of these pieces. Um, if you really want to get into it, you can also wait for this meeting to be scheduled. And you can set a maximum wait time. Let's say um, we want them to schedule that meeting within the next two days. So here is the meeting set up. I'm going to wait for my meeting to be scheduled. And if they don't schedule a meeting with me in the next two days, I'm going to make a decision. So this is, um, I'm going to send just one quick follow-up. So if the meeting, uh, let's say the meeting has been set up. So we're going to use this, um, start. So let's say the meeting star has not been set yet. Then I am going to follow up with another email here. So I set this as the meeting star is not set yet. So if the answer to that is yes, I am going to send an email that says, hey, just a quick reminder about that email. So maybe I send this same email again, right? And if uh, we'll choose the email that's going to send to. And if the answer is no, that um, it has um, – so again, this is the meeting star is not set. So the no answer would be it has been set. I'm sorry I did that so confusingly. Now we could say, oh, great. They've set up a meeting. Now I'm going to create them as a client. So we'll drop this down here and it will pull in your information. So if – uh, whoever filled out the form, if that email is not already connected in Moxie, this is going to create a client record for you. So 
not quite um, the super simple and short video that maybe you thought you were getting into, but that is how you can go from a contact form, you're going to drop it into your pipeline, schedule a meeting automatically, and also set up some automatic follow-up and add them as a client within Moxie.